as I record this video, Atmex literally is not selling silver. Hey everybody, it's Silver Seeker, and I cannot believe I am recording a video at this time. It's absolutely blowing me away. I was tipped off to this in our Discord server not long ago, and I just couldn't sleep thinking about it. Like, what is going on? This is crazy. Uh, are you know, is Atmex, and if you guys look at the title, it says Atmex is not selling silver, and we're going to get into it. Is Atmex worried about, you know, silver going the way of GameStop? So if you guys aren't sure what's going on in the financial markets, if you don't follow stocks and things like that, if you haven't been watching the news, you may not know, but I imagine most of you do, that there's been a few stocks, for example, GameStop, that's been experiencing an unprecedented short squeeze. And essentially what's happening, and if you guys aren't sure how shorts work, there's many, many videos on the internet, on YouTube, that will teach you how they work, so feel free to search them. But essentially, you know, you had some hedge funds that were going very, very short, over, like, over 100% short in stocks like GameStop. GameStop specifically is the one that started this. And so once these Reddit investors caught wind of it, they started buying up all the GameStop stock, which essentially means for these hedge funds to cover their shorts, they had to buy it all back at a much, much higher price, causing billions of dollars of losses for one hedge fund specifically. And if you guys, again, are interested in that, make sure you look. There's plenty of information out there about it. Obviously, our YouTube channel is not about stocks. It's about silver and gold. But the reason we're talking about this is because Atmex is not selling silver. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe, maybe they're worried about silver going the way of things like this GameStop stock. And the reason I say that is because it has been brought up multiple times in this community about squeezing silver and pushing the price higher. And I think Atmex might actually be worried about it over the weekend. So they're talking about an unprecedented, and it's not just Atmex talking about an unprecedented amount of orders. It's a lot of places talking about an unprecedented amount of physical silver orders. And my question is becoming, are they worried about people pushing the price up? And uh, Atmex may have went a little bit farther, farther than I thought any other site would go. You know, I could see uh, sites you know, basically pushing up their premiums and things like that where they would charge more over spot for a certain silver product, but Atmex straight pulled it. So if you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about, let's get go ahead and get over into it. But this is really, really crazy. So we're going to switch over. We're going to take a look at Atmex's website right now. And again, I'm just, I'm blown away by this. Atmex is quite literally not selling silver. Let's get over to that Mex's website and check it out. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed in on the website so you can see this message that I'm talking about right here. Right here it says, due to unprecedented demand in physical silver products, we are unable to accept any additional orders until markets open on Sunday evening. So they are quite literally saying that they are seeing such a huge influx of orders that they are worried that, you know, not only them, but other huge sites that do massive bullion sales uh, are seeing all of these orders and that's going to be pushing the price of silver up to a point where they will probably lose money once the markets open back up Sunday evening. So as you guys know, the markets open up Sunday evening around 4.30 p.m. my time. And, uh, you know, you're going to see a major move in silver almost immediately, whether it's up or down. You can usually expect a pretty significant move right as the markets open up on Sunday. And so what they're saying right here, again, is due to unprecedented demand on physical silver products, we are unable to accept any additional orders until the markets open. So they're quite literally saying they're not accepting silver orders. Let's take a look. Let's scroll down. So if you look at one ounce silver round buffaloes, as you can see, they show it's 3114. They have eagles at 3414. Obviously, this is a premium over spot. Uh, they're showing silver at 2715. So rounds are 399 over. Uh, eagles are uh, 699 over. But let's go ahead and look, click it and see what we have. Look at this. It says currently out of stock. Now, if we go back, you will see that the same for the silver eagles. If we go back again, you will see same for the Canadian uh, silver maple leaves. Uh, let's go ahead and look at all silver. Let's just go to silver. Go to let's not go to best sellers, sellers, but let's go to all. Let's go to silver bars by weight. Uh, let's find see if they even have anything huge like a hundred ounce silver bar available. Uh, here we go. 100 ounce silver bars. Everything's out of stock. All of it. It doesn't matter. Uh, if we look at, uh, you know, any silver, it's all gone. It's none of it's available. Let's go to available products. 
everything's out. The only thing, all right, so we have one thing here, $89.99 for a 2021 uh, Treasures of the U.S. Delaware Seashells. It's a one-ounce silver for 90 bucks. I'm sure they're not worried about silver going that high. Uh, you know, they have, you know, 2020 proofs. Uh, the 2020 China one ounce antique silver water dragon dollar restrike. That's kind of cool, but it's still 60 bucks. Probably don't need to worry about silver going to 60. Uh, you know, the mythos. Wow. The man. Wow. I did not realize that the Mandalorian mythosaur went to $80. What? Okay. Well, that that's for another discussion. I had no idea that that happened. Uh, huh. Okay. But anyway, my point remains. I mean, as you can see, look at one gram for 12 99 Nothing within, you know, reason is actually for sale right now. We can actually do price low to high and uh, let's, let's do this. Let's just to look for sure. So we have silver selected. If we scroll down, let's see if we can just choose. It has everything. Let's choose just one ounce and up. All right. We're going to turn off these grams, the, even the kilograms. We're just going to do one. Let's just do one ounce. Okay. And then let's scroll down to, they have an option for in stock. Let's see it. I know it's all the way down here. Let's go to in stock and turn off all available and just turn it on to in stock. And then let's go ahead and sort price low to high. We already have that sorted. So the cheapest things I have, all right, we have a one ounce silver round Barrett Jackson for 40, uh, 96 silver Eagle with abrasions for 50, uh, 2016 Rwanda meerkat for 50, you know, all right, as you can see, everything that's in stock is all high price silver. They don't have any low priced like bullion silver, the stuff that you just pay a small premium over spot. Everything that's available is just the collector stuff with collector value. And that is it. Nothing else is even available on their website. And that is absolutely crazy. Just this is mind blowing to me. So what is going on here? Well, honestly, I really do think that Atmex is actually worried that silver is going to open up so high on Sunday that everything they sell between now and, uh, you know, Sunday when the market's open will be at a loss. Like if silver does jump $3 or $4 uh, when the market's open on Sunday, I'm not saying it will, but if it does, uh, you know, selling silver buffaloes at 3114 is going to net them a loss almost immediately. They won't be able to replace the silver that they've sold. And by the time they know what the spot market's going to be at, it's going to be too late to try and replace it at what they sold it for. So that is what they're worried about, guys. And uh, this is crazy. I don't know what this means. I don't know what the markets are actually going to open up for when they open up later tonight. If you guys are watching this on Sunday, of course, I mean, if you're watching this after Sunday or way after this happened down in the future, thank you so much for watching one of my older videos. But other than that, guys, uh, for you guys watching it right as it comes out, I don't know what this means. Uh, is it going up? Is it going down? I couldn't tell you, but I will tell you this. This is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that. They are, they are literally worried. I mean, this message right here. They are literally worried that they are going to take a huge loss uh, when the markets open up. So will it happen? Won't it? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below what you think silver is going to do tonight. But if this Reddit community pushes silver and, uh, you know, they buy a bunch of it and jack the price up, uh, we might we might be in for a ride. We'll see what happens. It's uh, kind of scary to think about, but we don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Let me know again down below what you think, and we will see you in the next one. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I did leave a video above. You can check out if you haven't seen it yet. I also want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to my awesome channel supporters scrolling right there on the right hand of the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.